Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda. I'm Nick Park. I'm taking us through a series of teachings every day on Dinner with Jesus. We're talking about those times when Jesus shared food with people and the truth that he shared and the lessons that were learned. And the last two Take 5s, we were looking at an anointing of Jesus by a sinful woman that happened quite early in Jesus' ministry at the house of Simon the Pharisee. And we did say there were two other occasions when Jesus was anointed uh, by a woman and his feet were washed or his head was washed in one case. And now some people have tried to put these together and make out of the one incident, but that's not the case because the differences between them are so great. It, they're obviously three different occasions. And the one we're looking at now, it happened in John chapter 12, verses 1 to 8. And it happened in Bethany. Now, Bethany, of course, we know Bethany because Bethany was the place of where Lazarus lived and Mary and, and Martha and some of the, some of the most uh, touching events in the New Testament and the Gospels happened at Bethany, including the raising of Lazarus. Well, this was in Bethany, so it was probably in the house of Lazarus and his sisters, Mary and Martha. And we know that it occurred six days before the Passover. So that would make it about two or three days before uh, before Palm Sunday. And uh, anyway, Mary came to Jesus during the meal and she anointed the feet of Jesus. And again, we were talking about this last time that uh, this, this is not, she wouldn't even have had to kneel to do this. She may have knelt, but the Bible doesn't mention her kneeling. We know that last time in the previous anointing we looked at, the woman actually stood up while she began to wash the feet of Jesus. And that would be because they would have been reclining at a table with their feet stretched, tucked behind them or stretched out behind them. And so they were up on a, on a raised bench and so that wouldn't be like having your feet on the floor like we do when we eat meals today. Anyway, Mary came and it says that uh, she used ointment and like the like the sinful woman that we read about in Luke's gospel, she used her hair and the perfume to wash the feet of Jesus. But it doesn't mention any tears. It doesn't mention her crying. Mary wasn't coming from this point of dreadful uh, sin like uh, immorality where the other woman was, but she still was coming to worship Jesus. And there's no conversation, you know, last time we saw there was this big conversation took place about forgiveness between Jesus and the Simon the Pharisee, whose house that previous anointing took place in. Here there's none of that, where, but we are told that Judas was upset at the waste of money that was taking place here. But for me, the most important thing about this is it shows how Mary, in her worship of the Lord and her intimacy with the Lord, was going deeper and deeper into her worship to him. Now, before, of course, we had the Mary and Martha incident, you know, where Martha was all concerned and that she was busy preparing food on one occasion for Jesus and his disciples, and Mary's just sat at his feet listening to his teaching. But now we hear Mary actually coming and worshipping Jesus in the same way that the immoral woman had uh, back in Luke's Gospel. And this is not by accident. You know, I'm quite sure that with the time that Mary had spent with Jesus and his disciples, she would have heard about what had happened with the sinful woman coming and washing the feet of Jesus. And now she does the same thing. Why? Because Mary was not presuming that she was going to come to Jesus and be accepted by Jesus on just on account of how friendly they were and because Jesus came to her house and everything else. But she was coming to Jesus on the same basis as the prostitute. Because you know what? We all come to Jesus on the same basis. It doesn't matter what our station is in life. It doesn't matter whether people view us as being an upstanding member of the community or an outcast from the community. We still come to Jesus in an attitude of worship, an attitude of repentance, and, an, and re relying on his grace for him to receive us in, into his kingdom. And so we see Mary in this case. She's not standing and saying, well, I'm Mary. I'm the friend of Jesus. I've got some special relationship here. I don't, need to, I don't need to come and repent and do all the stuff that that other woman had to do. No, she comes on the exact same basis. 
You see, God loves us and God has a personal relationship with us, but God is not a respecter of persons. He, he does not uh, view any one person as being more important than anyone else. He wants us to come to him and he receives us when we come to him. And that's what Mary's anointing of Jesus at this mealtime tells us today. God bless you. Uh, join us again next time for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda.